You can go for a job interview with a black dress. You can go for a blind date with black dress. You can go for a wedding dinner with black dress. So how do you do? You just need to accessorize yourself, you see. So if you find that a black dress is too boring, wear a colorful accessory. So there's a lot of things you can play around. But don't make yourself look like Christmas tree. <laughs> okay? So let me tell you some of the don't for female. Female has a lot of don't. <laughs> when you're going, going for an interview, or meeting a client, please do not wear any more prints. Okay, animal prints is not professional at all. So I purposely wear this shoe today to show you. So animal prints is not professional. And do not wear cartoon. You know, I once interviewed a candidate, she wear a very big Mickey Mouse t-shirt. And her short that she wears is this short. And I look at her. I said, you go back and change and you come back again. Yeah, alright. Then do not wear glitter sequins dress. Because you're not going for a disco party, yeah? <laughs> you don't need to be so so glittering like a light bulb, you know, from 10 meters away you can see you. <laughs> so never wear clothing that are overly exposed. Like tube, short dress, very tight fitting, very body hugging until the fats all flood out, you know? <laughs> yeah, don't wear too tight, alright? And like I say, do not wear slipper, do not over accessorize like a Christmas tree. And there's one thing very important. Which I do not see a lot in Cambodia. Which is very good. But I see a lot in Singapore. Which is the hill is like 20 cm tall. You know, look at the shoes there on the screen. There's platform on in front and there's shoes behind. So why do you don't wear this kind of shoe? Why? Anyone want to answer? Why? 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 Um, Anyone? Don't worry, you can just try. Very good. Give her two tries, please. Superstar, am I right to say that? <laughs> so by wearing too high heel, give people the impression that it's quite intimidating. And I want to tell you girls, alright, wearing so high heel, unless you are a train model, even though a train model do fell down as well. So the problem I always see the girls that wear very high heel is, 
chẳng bánh hà đầy nhầm mơ tâm để xảy ra quạt cho chật phẹp với chiếc cây So they always were like that Chẳng quạt tay đã đàn chê Because they're scared to fall down you know, so they were like Cô bà rắm tay ở hành đại đại đua And it looks really weird, right? Mơ tâm ôm chùm lại một tên So please bear in mind, ok? Hãy chân xung chân chân Alright, so Something very important that everybody needs to know as well, which is when we go for interview, if you don't know how to, you know, tidy up your hair, minimum I think you should look neat, right? You know, I'm in a generation so of man. I don't understand why people can have hair in front here cover their eyes. You want um so there's a there's a lot of people who like to have their their, their fringe covered the eyes that when they talk to you you, you have to open the curtain <laughs> then you can see the eyes. There are also some people that like to just cover one eye. I understand that's a style and you look really cool. <laughs> But do not do this for an interview. Hai cũng thua chân xem bạc cá Okay, just for once, the interview comment out. Chẳng um, xem bạc pay nó đồng mối, cứ pay đại diện, pay xong phía xong người ta um lực sọ làm. Yeah, so if you're not going for a creative job, hair like a pink color and red color hair is a definitely a no. Hai bữa sáng giờ dừng ở tới creative job đấy, um cả sọ là bò cả chuột, rồi còn bò cả hộp nữa, cứ xong người ta cùng. It actually scares people away. And a lot of um, ladies like to wear makeup to look your, uh, to make yourself look pretty, right? So when you go for interview, do not overdo it. So what's the what's the benchmark for overdo it? Benchmark. Means uh, when you make up one eye is smaller than the other one. <laughs> that will be your benchmark. Understand? Clear? So don't overdo it, okay? And when we go for interview, please do not wear clothes that are not pressed nicely. That means they are not ironed nicely. Because when you go with the clothing that are really crumpled, you only give people the impression that you are, you know, very disorganized, you know, very untidy, you know, a lot of negative vibes when you give people with the clothing that is not nicely pressed. And also, a lot of ladies like to keep their nails long. But this kind is scary, ah. This do not have nails like this, okay? And also perfume as well. Perfume that are too overwhelming. It's also not professional. And also mind your posture. Yes, ha, I see she chest, chest up immediately. Hi, um, you go um, Yeah, so when you go for interview, can you imagine if you're trying to shake hand with a person and you like that? Hello, my name is Lillian. Hi, um, but you get up by the yin to um, some pay high yin to go get a good make now. So, how do you feel? I think you may have a die. You were questioned, right? Are you sure this is Lillian from Singapore? Agree? One yes, final thing, whether it's a male or a female. When you shake your hand, give them a firm shake. Understand? A lot of ladies have a problem is they like, you know, don't dare to touch the guy's hand, then they just like that. Hello. They <laughs> just do this. Okay, just give them a firm shake, reach out, give them a firm shake, understand? This is very important because giving a firm shake already, number one, win the battle. Ah. 
Understand? Yeah. Now, now give each other a firm shake. <laughs> Good job. Anyone just touch fingertips here? <laughs> no more, ah. Uh. Don't touch fingertips only, ah. Uh. Okay. So, when you go for a job interview, you need to find out the company that you're going to go for. Do not just go blindly, you know, and then expect the company, you know, to be the same everyone. So go to social media platform. So you'll be able to find company info, you know, in their Facebook, in their Instagram, in their LinkedIn, or even in their website. Instagram, LinkedIn, and website of the bank. So find out very much about the company, you know, what do they do, you know, um, what have they done recently, or how's the culture like, and what are the people like, you know. And you will definitely have a higher success rate. Alright, then I'm going to share with you something which is uh, very important. Alright, if you want to take note, you can, which is some of the must know questions when it comes to interview. Hi, um, Samrap. So I interview, like I told you, I interview um, day, day, daily. Alright, so these are some of the questions that I always like to ask. So basically, why I ask this question? Because I want to see the candidate. Got do homework or not? If the HR manager knows you got do homework, win another battle again. So we always like to ask, so tell me a little bit about what you do for your job. So we ask this, we will understand whether does you fit into the current job or not. So for example, I'm looking for a makeup artist. And suddenly you tell me, oh I'm a cashier every day, I just ching money come in, ching, then I come on, ching like that. So I know that you didn't fit into the requirement. And I also like to ask, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself. This is a time where the candidate will always go silent. I really have no idea why. But I want to tell every one of you here. It's very important that you know how to sell yourself. So if you from here when I tell you say tell me a little bit about yourself in go thing that confident level will go low, right? Can it, the interview manager will be wondering, oh, this girl has no confidence. So when they say, tell me a little bit about yourself, try not to say things that are not related to the job. Example, um, okay, if I bowl or rice one day. <laughs> I can eat five bowls of rice one. Oh, yum yum, buy pram chan, no mangai. It's not related, right? Is it related? <laughs> no, right? So, challenge time. Who can tell me a little bit about yourself? Hands up, I'll give you three prize for now. Okay, the gentleman, come stand up. Give him a clap, please. Tell me a little bit about yourself. And uh, I, I live in 
So I'm gonna interview. I'm gonna interview you now. Is that all you wanna tell me? And I I I I Very good, that's the answer. Thank you for tell them about your strength. Well done. Go back and put mask on, then you look like my husband. <laughs> Well done, any more? People from me. Okay, this side. Okay, lady in black. Uh, my name is Gajana. Yeah, every day, I take care of a little bit, uh, a little bit kids. I am a teacher. I can speak English and Cambodian. It's my idea. Very good. Come straight to the point. Very good. Okay, people over here. Anyone? Someone better? Come on. Anyone? Anyone? Nobody? Come on, anyone? Oh, yes. Oh, oh, sound person. Okay, good job. Okay, the sound person will represent you. Uh, thank you for representing me. <laughs> so, I always like to ask this question. And a lot of time, the candidate will say, I have no weakness. Other than, you know, okay, there cannot be a person that has no weakness. Agree? Agree, right? So if you say, I have no weakness, <laughs> then it sounds very cocky, right? Okay, so fourth and fifth is a common question also, which is what do you do? What do you know about the company? And why do we need to hire you? So these are very very common questions. So if you do not pass these first five questions from me, I will call the interview stop. Because I don't see there's a point for me to further interview you if you couldn't even pass this basic five one. So screenshot this and go back and master this when you go for an interview, alright? Okay, so I'm going to share with you this industrial trick that all HR manager and training manager, right? Everybody likes to use this, which is the star interview technique. So STAR star, we all know that, right? STAR star, So S represents situation. S So you have to, you know, um, set the scene for the interview person. And T will represent task. So what is task? Task is basically to describe the purpose. Okay, then A will be action. So explain what you do. And lastly, R will be result. Because you share the outcome. And the HR manager will know if this task that you have been assigned to, does it, you know, benefit to the company? So this task, Technique So allows you to provide concrete example that you once done before in your job. So example, so one day my boss came to me. 
Chẳng ai mua ở mấy bao nhiêu bàn mà chụp nhóm So my boss say there's this fragrance that we just launched um, Thay ta um, tập áp đại dương cầm um, um, tờ tài bằng chênh nhắn Was the biggest blockbuster The biggest blockbuster, that means the, the biggest launch ever Cái chi ca đại bằng chênh thông chênh kế Alright, so they expect to sell billions of bottles of the fragrance But when they launch into the market, it only sells 5%. So my boss get very stressed. So my boss tell me, I'm going to give you a task now. I want you to think of everything that you can to implement a module, a training that can bring this fragrance up. It's tough. Alright, because that bottle of fragrance itself, one bottle costs $350. So we all know that's the reason why it didn't sell well, right? But you cannot tell your boss that. This is where you need God. <laughs> so you know what? I sit in front of the computer. And I pray, God, I don't know how to do this. Is it possible? So I say, God, teach me. And then I say, God, use me. Let me glorify you. So after that, I went for my lunch. <laughs> I didn't do anything, I went for my lunch. So after lunch, I came back. I have an idea. So I get ready on my team, my trainer. So I say that we're going to do this, we have to do this. There is no, there is only yes. So we do a brainstorm on how we can create awareness. How we can divide our team in the shortest time to go around the whole entire Singapore. So to teach everyone in Sephora to be sell only this fragrance. So we have to think about a lot of ideas, how to be fun, how to reward them, you know, how to be interesting, how to catch people's attention. And then I realized that and usually when you launch a product you will only have one month to evaluate whether the product is good or not so the next month we got the result the sales was 150% so, this is something that I really, really learned is that, you know, you just commit to God, God will help you, He will expand your creativity, He will expand your strength and let you be able to do it. So, before you go for interview, they will put you into a real quiet room, right? And then let you sit there and wait, right? So that's the best time to pray. Sit down there and pray quietly to God. God, if this is the door that you open for me, let the will be done, right? So my last message to everybody here before I close is, Hi, um, so be confident. Get up. Dress up. Show up. Yes, and never give up.
This is very, very important. So before I close, let me share a very short testimony with you. So since young, testimony, my parents is a business um, business my dad is a businessman. Um a businessman. So he always tells me you need to study hard. Study hard is very important. If you don't study hard, you know in the past you always like to say, then you have to go to McDonald's and work. <laughs> I don't know why my dad likes to say that. I find it really weird. Because I'll be like, oh yeah, all the french fries and McDonald's is to eat in the world. <laughs> So I don't know why he likes to say that, alright? So, so, but I am those that I cannot study well. So I'm not an academic person, I'm more an artist. I'm more an artist. I'm more an artist. So I use a lot on the creative brain on the other side and if you give me a book, I will fall asleep. <laughs> so who falls, falls asleep when you read a book? <laughs> oh, high five everybody! Thank you! <laughs> so you know what happens? So right, I, I confess to everybody here, so when I open the Bible and read, I fall asleep. <laughs> so you know what I do? In order to force myself to read the Bible, I basically serve in the children ministry. You know why I serve in the children ministry? You cannot teach the wrong thing. So it forced me to read the Bible. So instead I learned through the YouTube Kids Bible Study. So this is how I learned. So you find how which way work better for you and you go according to it as long as you learn. 